But we are going to turn now to other news, including the January 6th investigation of former President Donald Trump. A landmark ruling, a judge has ordered that former Vice President Mike Pence will testify, will need to rather, before a grand jury will need to testify about Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election. As Robert Costa reports, this is something that both men wanted to avoid. In a ruling that could have historic consequences, former Vice President Mike Pence has been ordered to testify before special counsel Jack Smith's grand jury on January 6 about any illegal acts committed by former President Donald Trump. I have nothing to hide. Uh, I have a constitution to uphold. I, I upheld the constitution on January 6th. The decision is a major blow to Trump's legal team, with the judge ruling executive privilege does not apply and that private exchanges between Trump and Pence are not off limits. They're looking for evidence of criminality of the former president in connection with overthrowing our election. And there's nothing more important than that, and there's no witness probably more important than the former president's own vice president. Pence has long argued he shouldn't have to testify because of his constitutional role in the legislative branch. The notion of, of uh, compelling a former vice president to appear in court to testify against the president with whom they served is unprecedented, but I also believe it's unconstitutional. The votes for president of the United States are as follows. But the judge Just ruled Pence will not have to discuss topics that deal specifically with his role in Congress on January 6. And last night, Pence said he and his lawyers are still deciding whether to appeal. We're currently speaking to our attorneys uh, about uh, the proper way forward. Sources close to the investigation tell CBS News Pence's one-on-one -on -one conversations with Trump in the Oval Office on January 5th, 2021, the eve of the insurrection, are of high interest to prosecutors since Trump then was enthralled by the gathering mob outside and eager to pressure Pence to do his bidding. Uh, and, Bob, we're also waiting for more information on the Manhattan grand jury investigation tied to these hush money payments to Stormy Daniels. What's the latest on that? The grand jury heard from an additional witness on Monday, but based on our reporting, it might not meet now for the rest of this week, prolonging a decision on a possible Trump indictment. Wow, and then we got Easter, we got Passover, we got school breaks. It seems like it's getting pushed down the field. TBD. Yeah. Bob, thank, thank you. Bob.